Hello everyone and welcome to this Aurora theme tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a lookbook for your Shopify store. But first, I'm going to show you some examples of what you can create with the Aurora theme. This is our first example. As you can see, we have the lookbook image on the left and six product cards displayed uh, on a grid with three columns on the right. And if you click on the pins on the lookbook, the corresponding product card will be highlighted. This one and another one. This is what it looks like on a mobile screen. As you can see, we have vertical product cards in a carousel. In our second example, the lookbook block is slightly bigger and the product cards are displayed in a slideshow that takes up one third of the screen and you can scroll the cards like this. And you can obviously click on the pins to display the right product on the other side. On mobile, we have a carousel with horizontal product cards instead. In this example, we still have a slideshow with product cards, but this time is bigger. It takes up half the section. Uh, you can scroll them in the same way and you can obviously click on the pins. Uh, on the lookbook image. The mobile version has a grid with all the product cards. This is our last example. The product cards are displayed in a carousel with a single product card that you can scroll to display more product cards. You can use the pins as well. And for the mobile version layout, we have a carousel pop-up that will be visible only if you click on one of the pins. Now let's go create a lookbook just like this one for your Shopify store. First, I'm going to add a new lookbook section to the page. I'm going to click add section and look for the lookbook section. Here it is. First, I'm going to fill out the content of my lookbook, so the heading and body in this case. Next, I'm going to add an image for my lookbook. You can choose a desktop image and a different mobile image if you want to. Uh, you can explore the free images or select an image from your Shopify database, which is what I'm going to do right now. My image is now in place. Now, I would like to draw your attention to this checkbox right here, which says enable pins. When this one is checked, the pins are enabled for your lookbook. You can also choose not to have any pins in your lookbook. We we'll talk more about pins and their settings later. Now let's take a look at the product cards settings. You can choose the position for your product cards on desktop. At the moment, they are in the top right. You can choose, for example, for them to be in the top left, and this is what it would look like. You can choose the layout of your product cards for desktop. At the moment, we have a carousel with one card. You can then scroll to the other product cards. You can also have a carousel with two cards or three. Another option is a slideshow that takes up half of the section. And this is how you scroll to the other product cards. Or you can have a smaller slideshow that takes up one third of the section. And this is what it looks like. You can choose a grid layout with one column. And this is how you scroll down to see the other product cards. This is with two columns and three. We saw an example with this layout earlier. Let's now take a look at mobile layouts. At the moment, we have a carousel pop-up. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to see the pop-up only if you click on the pins. And then you can see the other product cards. If the pins are not enabled, this is how the pop-up will appear as a button in the corner that you can click to show the product cards. The slideshow pop-up works in a similar way. You need to click on the pin to see the product cards. And if the pins are not enabled, you're going to see the button that you can click. You can also have a carousel with vertical cards that you can scroll by touching the screen 
or a carousel with horizontal cards that you can scroll in the same way. This is what it looks like. Another option is to display your product cards in a grid, always at the bottom of the lookbook block, or in a slideshow that you can scroll like this. Here at the bottom, you have some additional settings that help you achieve the design that you want for your lookbook. Uh, so you can choose the image ratio, you can align the content, uh, set the gaps between product cards, and so on. Now let's go set up our first product card. To set up a product card, you need to click on a product here first, and then select the product from your Shopify database. This one is going to be my first product. I'm going to click select and here you can set the position of your pin for desktop and mobile. I want the pin for this product to be on this top right here. So I'm going to adjust these values accordingly. And here it is. Now, if you want to set a different position for your mobile pin, you need to set a different image for mobile first. Let me show you where you can do that. In the lookbook settings, you're going to find the mobile image just below the desktop image. If you don't have a mobile image, as it is in our case, the mobile pin will be in the same position as it is for desktop, just adjusted for the mobile screen. I'm going to show you where it is now. As you can see, the mobile pin is in the exact same position as it is in desktop. Now I'm going to add more products and repeat the same operations for each one of them. Here is my complete lookbook. This is what it looks like on desktop. And this is the mobile view with a carousel pop-up. And that's it. That concludes my lookbook tutorial. Now go create one for your Shopify store.